on the last episode of Shattered Planets and the first, the campaign began with Flurf, the Skittermander mechanic and, uh, I guess, sentient pet of a sentient ship, finding a triton, bugbear, lizard folk, and three liches floating in an orb of force out in the middle of space. No explanation and no reason why. We brought them on board and, well, they discovered all isn't as what it seems with Flurf's ship. Uh, but before they could ke- delve too far into the mysteries, they discovered that the ship had been passed to the Triton's homeworld of Nerath recently, and they decided to start heading for that direction. When they discovered they were being tail- tailed by some pirates. And now they're trying to figure out what the heck to do about it. Um, I, I could I consult the, the ship uh, to to uh, find out the answer to Alaren's question. Okay, these are the freebooters. They uh, they do seem to be hailing you. Uh, oh, oh, ship says yes, and they apparently have a message for us. Oh, then you might want to take the captain's chair. Okay. Okay. Wee. So you start spinning, and the the main <laughs> screen turns on. <laughs> And as you complete your revolution to face the screen, a uh, a pirate. And I'm just gonna drag him. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hologram. drag him out. This sucker. Oh on shit! Oh. Make him a little oh, bit man. big. He's like, hey, Flurf. We uh we liked your uh we liked your fish, but uh, you know, well we liked your fish so much we want a little bit more. You know, you know how it is, right? I, I, I do know how it is. Good. That... Well then, ah, uh, we don't hope you don't mind us taking the rest off your hands. I'm sure you can go get more. Um, but I, I have some, uh, some, some guests aboard, and they would like. We, we were planning on well, having a. a I've a got fish about feast. forty guests of my own. Well, okay. Oh. And uh, you know, they need, they need the feeds, and and well. So much space gruel and space grog and whatnot. They make they make a, a belly rumble and well, I I the I, fishfinity wars have begun. I <laughs> happen to, to enjoy the fish that you so kindly sent our way a couple of days ago, and well, I'm here mm. for the rest. Wait. Oh. Um. One moment, please. I go quickly to talk to Greg. Huh? Uh, He's the Greg one looks between down. his legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm you imagining Flurf, bond with Greg. Flurf is short enough to walk through everybody's legs freely, <laughs> with yeah. like as though it's normal. Uh, Greg, huh? how good do you taste? <laughs> Uh, Hang on, let me check. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I think that the, the one limitation of the ring is that I can taste everything but myself. Well, it's I mean, kind of like can, how your hands can't touch themselves. You can, you can have. You can touch yourself with your own yeah, hands. Yeah, my hand, my hands are touching my hands, hands right now. No, wait, what was that logic? In? What was that logic? <laughs> oh, anyway. Man. Uh, it's I don't like trust saying you your eyes it. can see everything but themselves. <laughs> so, so, Greg, question: uh, uh, Have you tasted your arm yet? Uh, do one? I have it? It's still in your bag. Yeah. Wait, where did I get it? Oh, when, right, it's no longer attached when it to fell him. off. Right, you picked up your old arm. Oh, you still have right. it. Oh. You should like freeze that. Yeah. Or so, <laughs> Blur, as you may or may not be aware. Greg is missing his right arm. Oh. It's a robot arm. It's also significantly shorter than his left arm. So you can actually so taste you, yourself wait, so externally. You, so you're missing your flesh arm or your robot arm? My flesh arm, which he oh, then okay. brandishes uh, from the pack. <laughs> it you looks really right. You should, like, freeze that or something. <laughs> it looks... Uh, it's probably too far it gone. It looks... Way too far gone, yes. At this oh, point, 
All right, point. Greg is going to use the ring of taste to taste his own <laughs> no. gangrenous, oh. rotted arm. No. Oh, look at that! Oh, no. <laughs> Knocks him out. Oh this no! Okay. So, You're Greg, tasting yourself. As as far as uh, as far as gangrenous, rotting uh, bits of meat go, not bad actually. You're <laughs> kind of peckish. It. <laughs> and then he falls unconscious. <laughs> no, no, you, Greg, you have discovered you taste pretty good, rotten or no. A little too good. Yeah, a little too good. Like, you're having some ideas that you shouldn't be having, probably. Like eating <laughs> no. the arm. Oh, no. Uh, He's going to give himself the cannibal shakes. <laughs> um, I mean, didn't I he already imply he real. Uh, Greg, Greg kind of looks at Flurf. With like a very mesmerized look on his face, he's like, "I taste good, perfect. Let me have your arm. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> oh no, precious." <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Of all things, I thought would happen today, I didn't think them fighting over <laughs> whether or not they can feed Greg's arm to the space pirates <laughs> was going to be on the list. <laughs> I say uh, that to myself really with every campaign. Predict where this is gonna go, <laughs> uh, Captain Fleur. Yeah, y yes, isn't, yes, first mate. Isn't the pirate leader still on the com? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm trying. I'm, I'm yes, working. I on can it. hear you from down the hall. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I never turned it off. Uh, um. <laughs> I wish I knew what some of these skills were. Like, can I use um, uh, life science to convince Greg that uh, he'll grow a new arm? Uh, that would be bluff, but oh. it would gain a bonus of life science. Yes. I don't know if science works on Greg. Um. Okay. How how do I do that though? Well, you roll the bluff check and the life science check. Okay, I'll do that. Oh. Okay. Oh, Greg, make a make a uh, sense motive check. Oh, I have a plus nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, By the way, Greg, he does not you're have not a sure, bonus. but you he think your arm is already good. regrowing. Oh no! <laughs> that would explain the robot arm. <laughs> oh no! Like you don't have a tiny little baby hand, but you do have a bit of a stump nubbin going. Ew. Greg thinks that he's dead. You'll get it. You'll get a new one in no time. So l let me have that arm. Why? What are you going to give me for it? <laughs> I may be amenable to a trade. Um, I have this uh, um, lovely little harpoon in my room. I could give you that. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like Greg's force of will is so strong <laughs> and he's so stubborn that him being convinced that his arm's going to grow back will actually cause it to grow back via the placebo effect. Oh no, his arm is growing back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? The bugbears are generating limbs? Dead God, no. Okay. Dead God. Okay. No. How, how about this very enticing offer? I'll give you the most delicious fish that I have on board. Deal. Greg just shoves the hand of the arm into a... Uh... Uh, Flurf's. Well, I don't know. Greg just <laughs> drops the arm on top of Fl Greg. Oh her the perfect. arm is bigger than Flurf. Yeah, now I, drag his <laughs> now I attempt to quickly drag the arm that's twice my body weight to the <laughs> captain's room, and I show it to the to the pirate on the uh, if the, the like intercom. It, aren't they just gonna Are, want the rest of it? Look, look here. Yeah. I have this uh, I, very exotic and hairy fish. It what? tastes better than anything else I've tried. But wait, I <laughs> guess you gotta bluff gross. it, right? <laughs> gross. <laughs> yeah, you gotta roll bluff. You have to roll okay. bluff on pretending that an arm is a fish. The, oh, ah! crap. <laughs> 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 okay, so tell me what you say. Welcome to the campaign, dude. <laughs> this is just the way that it goes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, it turned out exactly how I expected. <laughs> <laughs> it was either going to be that one or that twenty, and either way, it was going to be real funny. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't believe this. Well, I mean, I, I just try my best to convince him that it's a hairy fish. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me what you say. This is good practice. I, I. You it, tell him it's a hairy fish. 
Yeah, the, the, this is the most exotic hairy fish that I have on board, and it tastes amazing. I offer I, you this well, in place of my entire stock. That's... Good God, what has that ship done to you? It's an <laughs> arm, you ninny. Where did you get that? Uh, d d d <laughs> nowhere. Do I, do I have to do another nowhere. off check for that? <laughs> no, at this, no, at this point, your heart is in his hands. It's not on your sleeves. You have handed him the keys. And anything that comes out of your mouth, true or not, is straight up lies. I mean, at this point, they might flee thinking they'll catch the space madness. <laughs> this might no. work in our favor. Instead, he looks at you, he looks at the arm, he looks at you again, and then he spins the comically oversized uh, steering wheel uh, toward to the left. Uh, We're to the, the left of them. Then, uh, which means into us. Then the video winks out. And what do we see? <laughs> You see the you see the ship, which looks surprisingly like a hammerhead shark, uh, is coming straight for you. Ah! Uh, oh no! Are they going I to want, board? I want every ship in this universe to look like a fish, <laughs> and be powered uh, by a fish and catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you know, in uh, Dishonored, how they use whale oil, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's fish oil. <laughs> oh I mean, there's God. other power We're sources. We're gonna have a boss but... fight against a space whale. <laughs> You are going to have a boss fight against a space whale. I'm already, I've already drawn it. <laughs> Anywho, uh, it's it's got jaws. Surprisingly, it looks like the ship is meant for uh, boarding people orally. Uh, wait. Uh. So it's going to clamp onto us and then unleash its. Yeah. So uh, Flurf's ship is is making evasive maneuvers, but the thing is not meant for this. Well, look at that giant fish. Do you Just think imagine you're... what it tastes like. No. And, wa and Wander said, "Vor is not art." <laughs> now, now, do hey, you have hey. harpoons or Robo nets that would be okay. able to stall yes, a ship in of the that room? Attitude? In the room to the right, there's a harpoon right here. <laughs> I wouldn't go in that it's, room. It's not, <laughs> it's not Gabe. It's robots. <laughs> um. <laughs> <What>? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just this it's not game on, they're both <laughs> robots. <laughs> it's just this bizarre boar rule that he just made up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking of the uh, the shark from uh, James and the Giant Peach. Ah, uh, yeah. That thing gave me nightmares. Try to bite the peach. <laughs> anyway. Do you know how to uh, Do you know how to work a harpoon? Uh, I believe I could manage. I mean. It's I... right in this room over here, to, to, to the right, right there. Uh, okay. I look in and... Uh, you see... <laughs> Captain's logs. <laughs> you Captain's see Captain's logs, logs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, looks, no. it looks like Cap the Captain Captain's has, logs, uh, number 200. has had some serious <laughs> things to say for the past <laughs> month. Who, who defecated in here? It just occurred to me that the even the purpose. space uh, pirate looks oh, like a that, shark. That, uh, must, must have been the um, uh, previous guest. <laughs> Hold this on, let me. It's rather preview. fresh, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my god! Wasn't the previous guest uh, Greg? Yeah. Hold on. I, I, yeah, I might have to do a bluff on that. Yeah, make yeah a you're bluff definitely check. doing a bluff. <laughs> it's not uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Do There's I have to all over the place. If you didn't lie all the time, flirt. Do no, I have to do a perception? No, your or? passive sense motive is way higher than that. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Well, I don't even know if a harpoon would be able to debilitate a ship like that. Is is there really nothing else that we can fling at it? Um, As you discuss this, the ship shudders a lot. You all pretty much fall over and whoa. are dashed against walls. And Drez, That's you wake my up. Secret. I'm always on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So Drez, you wake up because you're not in the ground. You're in fact kind of mushed up against the wall. And then back down on the ground. Ah. <laughs> Wait, did it already latch on? Yeah. There is there are horrible noises coming from all around you. Wait, are we inside it? I look through the window. Uh you can definitely see that you're inside the mouth of a shark ship. Ah There has to be something we can do. Um uh. 
Well, he asked for all of my fish, but there's no way I'm giving him that. <laughs> Doesn't he have all of them now? No. They're still in the hold. He hasn't made it in the ship yet. Though there is, there are sounds but coming from the, the... Hold, isn't the whole ship in their ship? Oh, true. He has you now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. Mm -hmm. um, well, let's see what I can do. How do they actually board, though? So, uh... Yeah, they're not we'll, boarded, we'll find right? Out. Are they going to start, like, having all the sparks coming on one of the doors? Like, the hell? Why are these wider than... These... Why is they... Alright, whatever. Somehow my pirate sprites have gotten warped weirdly, so they're fat pirate spite... sprites. I don't like this. From all that fish they've been eating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does fish even have a lot of protein He's like it? a pirate oh, yeah. scarecrow. Yeah, man. Fish yeah. are, like, nothing but protein. Fish oh, are really good for you. I thought you couldn't eat a whole lot of fish because it gave you, like, mercury poisoning. Uh, That's not really... I mean, yeah. it depends on the kind of fish, I suppose. Stop getting yeah, fish from, eat like, nothing. mercury water supplies. You don't want to eat <laughs> too much tuna because tuna are predatory fish, and they eat many smaller fish, and that mercury accumulates in the larger fish. Ah. Uh, they eat the smaller so fish. So if I eat fish that aren't tuna, then yeah, I'm Yeah, you have to eat all the shitty fish. You have to eat, like, all the sardines and anchovies. Yeah. Imitation crab. Wait, so <laughs> if I just sat around and I ate nothing but, like, the same diet that a tuna eats, would I get mercury poisoning? <laughs> You'd have no, much... but it would not be good for you. I mean, eating a diet that consists of nothing but, like, anchovies and uh, shrimp. Yeah, that sounds pretty fucking bad for me. <laughs> And expensive. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to even get the anchovies? You're going to have to order so many pizzas and then take the anchovies off. I could off. just order Everyone anchovies. Knows. No, yeah, that's the only context in which anchovies was. exist. It's <laughs> on pizzas. No, no, no. There's canned anchovies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nah, sardines are where it's at. More like You can even eat their bones. I run over to, uh, to they hug really the look like scarecrow pirates. I have. Okay. And I, I, I attempt to protect this with my all my fur. <laughs> Okay. I'm convinced. Looking at those, I'm convinced that those are drow scarecrows. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take this fish away from me. I just kind of drew it. whatever, and I'm just going to use them for kind of whatever. Anyway, so uh, after a little bit, the doors pop open before these guys can like start cutting through it because I guess the ship's more interested in saving itself than your fish. And... No. <laughs> <laughs> You guys hear Fleur screaming in the um in the cargo <laughs> cargo room. Hey, our problem's solving itself. <laughs> oh no. So you guys no. just like close the door. What a what a comfortable well, familiar sound. Well, you know sound. Alaren won't and I'll just follow whatever Alaren does, so so That's a skip Alaren, ahead. as the only good member of the party, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I going to do? Yeah. I, I'm going to uh, rush in the, to his what defense. What does a flirt like... scream sound like? I thought it was that no that I did earlier. Nah, <laughs> make it flirtier, man. No! Because <laughs> ah! he's little, right? So he should have a really high voice. No, no. You know, if I, see, I imagine, I'm imagine i actually imagining flirt kind of sounds like Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> It's the Detective Pikachu that everyone wanted. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't actually know how he sounds like. Well, you should do some research. <laughs> yep. Okay. Because my head cannon is magic. Anyway, <laughs> so you're screaming, and uh, Alarn, what are you doing? Because this guy's walking in and picking up the crate with Flurf. He doesn't seem to give much of a shit. Well, I'm going to eye bite him. Okay. He is not what? prepared for uh, eyeball magic. And I'm going to make him sickened. Okay. He has to do wisdom save. Huh. Wow. Has this guy ever even been hit with magic before? I figured in the future it didn't happen. So, so what, my eyes what? turn into inky black orbs. Do you say eye bite? Eye yeah. bite. What the yep. fuck is it's that? It's necromancy. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's... Uh, it, it, like, messes up your ability to see. Uh, do you know what the DC is? You shouldn't bite people's eyes. I mean, 
when the jelly comes out, it feels people's fish. When you when the jelly comes out, it doesn't grow back. Ew. I can make it essentially fall asleep, panicked, or sickened. I used it on the slime monster. I'm gonna look up how spell DCs work. Oh, okay. ha- oh yeah, how spell DCs ah. work in, in this? Yeah. I'm yeah. Really tripped out by wobbly flurm. I don't. <laughs> I don't like how they're calculating it. So we'll go with kind of, sort of. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. How are we gonna do calculations? Okay, it's ten plus half your level plus whatever your uh, stat is. We'll go with that for now. I think. Wait. So. 10 plus 6 is so 16 plus oh, what was it was it because it was wisdom so my modifier so that'd be 18 for dc or what do you mean yeah because like their base is 10 plus half the caster level well no the the base for pathfinder i guess is 10 plus spell level plus spell ability level. modifier well, this is but a... that totally like gimps anything lower than level like Five. This, this is a six level spell. Yeah, so it's going to be the same DC one way or another. I'll think about it because this is going to be a very homebrew campaign for everybody at home uh, mm-hmm. that's listening to this because like, we're using Pathfinder classes. Pathfinder well, classes, and we're not play Starfinder right. campaign, and also yeah. like I am kind of trying to get some kind of universal rule set going so that I can just kind of use all of them and just like cram it into my box instead of trying to cram. Uh, other things in other boxes. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so it's going to be uh, that. What's the DC? Well, he failed no matter what. So he doesn't look sick. He looks really confused. You also realize he he's more robot than person at this point. So oh really? He might not have a stomach, but he looks real worried that he might have just grown one. The effects mm-hmm. are still. <laughs> oh, it's a horrible concept. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized that this doesn't actually make him vomit. Well, he's not vomiting. He's mostly just like patting his like metal chest plate and torso down, being like, "What the?" Well, this actually <laughs> makes him get disadvantage on attack rolls and well, ability checks. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait. If he doesn't, if he doesn't have a stomach, why does he want my fish? I mean, his his. His men have bellies. He can we've also, also taste establish that ma- we have also established that machines are powered by fish. Oh. Evidently, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Every everything is powered by fish. Because we all thought you were crazy, but actually, this bizarre obsession with fish uh, is how the galaxy works. Apparently. I should have used panicked. Oh well. Oh okay. well. I mean, you've succeeded at panic. Uh, what do you mean? You know, he's it was panicking. It was, it was cows. Well, he's panicking because universe, of being sickened. Fish. And I, I will say. Unhand that cargo. Oh, he has already now. unhanded it. He is handing himself, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. He's handing himself all over. <laughs> yeah. Greg and the lizard man, t- get in here and help protect the the, the, the fish. <sighs> <laughs> is, there, uh. is there um um the motivational role? Greg that just kind of like walks in and idly just smacks uh. The first th- enemy looking thing he sees with his okay. Halberd. Are you going for the captain oh, looking guy? Full weapon or the uh, okay, uh, the captain you, looking guy. You take oh, a swing, good. but you miss. <sighs> I use an extra <laughs> attack. Uh, remember, uh, by the way, uh, I guess I should probably mention this Starfinder has uh, handles multiple attacks differently. Um, oh. yeah, so instead of having multiple attacks now. You have one or two, and you can you can choose when you start. So we'll just go with you did two now. Um, gotcha. But, but if you do two, you isn't it doesn't it reduce something? Yeah, it's at a minus four penalty to both oh. hits. Uh, but you can get oh, okay. extra feats that let you attack more than that and reduce okay. the penalties and stuff. So instead of attacking four times in a turn or whatever that you might have eventually been able to do, now you just have one or two, but that's for everybody. Gotcha. Yep. And you miss. He uh he is actually fairly fairly beefy. Huh. Roll for initiative. Those were bad rolls too. Yeah, they were six and a they three. were Bing. Whoa. Oh, do we all have to? I yeah. got oh, yeah. excellent initiative. Okay. Um, uh so Durf, by the way, do you see the clock symbol 
on the top left, above the die and below the eye. Uh... Oh. It, it should be a little clock. Top left can... of your screen. Roll the Not initiative, your character though. Sheet. Yeah, roll your initiative. I, I'm talking about, like, the, uh, the overall window. An I On the character sheet? Wait, no, 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 no. No, like in the roll 20 window. Not your character sheet. Roll, so the like, roll 20 window. I mean, oh, just, just look to the top so left, dude. Just look to the top left. You see a little yeah. bar with a bunch yes. of symbols. Yes. Look for the one that looks like a clock. There's none that look like a clock? It's third from the bottom. That's looks a like a ruler. ruler. Yeah, that looks like a ruler. What the hell? Okay. I have a ruler. You guys? Yeah, we don't we don't have oh. any. Do I? Clock. How do you guys pull up your turn order? My then? turn order. We is never do. Pops up it's automatically. Just, oh, we're, we're just stuck with it. With when you. Oh, you just turned it off for me. I am in control of the turn order. Yes. I thought yes. you guys just turned it off. Huh? Dude, no. Right. Roll twenty no. is roll twenty. That's okay. <laughs> well, it literally goes. Uh, we don't have your cube, your eye, or your clock. That's interesting. Okay. Well, um, I guess Drez. You're you're the only one that needs to roll unless you're checking this one out. I rolled, but it didn't put, go in. Oh, oh, you know what? Uh, I can highlight this? my character and roll again. Yeah, oh, you might have to well, do that. Well, one thing <clears throat> is that I can actually control Drez, so maybe you need to assign okay. him. Okay. Well, he's on the list now. Key. I feel abused. <laughs> uh, let me switch it so Drez is not control controllable by everybody. <laughs> So we're starting uh, combat now? Yes, yeah. this is combat. Okay. My agency. Okay. So, uh, Alarn, you go first. Pirate Man is no longer uh, patting himself down. He, he is... Right, but he still has the disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, so I can cast things that don't require concentration, because I need to concentrate on that. All right. What do I want to do? I'm going to, can I stand between him and the, sure. and the space pirate? I mean, Flurf does not take a space. Anybody can occupy the same space as Flurf. <laughs> Unless I, you are the same size as Flurf at which I'm point. I'm going to you're gust adjacent. of Something wind terrible them. happened. <laughs> okay. So that's a strength check to avoid? Yeah. Okay. Or at least to like stand. Actually, I can't gust of wind because that's concentration. Never mind. Um, we should really have you switch over to the um, Pathfinder spells for these, by the way. I know you like your cards. Oh, yeah, but that's precisely why I got the cards. Okay. Uh, yeah, so not Gust of Wind, but what can I do instead? Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do my Eldritch Blast sword? Okay. You said that I could yes. use it as yes. such? I just don't know if I put it in here properly. Roll it and we'll see. Okay. And people will freak out about how I did the math. No. <laughs> no, uh, that's you not wanna, right. You want to make it a weapon at the bottom. Oh, what? Where does it say that? I, I put it as a weapon. The weapon's here. Okay, you have to roll that. I did. Uh, what? Void Saber, Tech Mods. I put it as all the same stats as I had before. He's just checking it. Okay. Oh, I guess it did do damage there. So yeah, you you hit him for 18. 18? Um, yeah, remember, it does, it does the Eldritch Blast plus the Void Saber damage. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so you stab him, and he looks well pissed. So he's he's down what eighteen? Okay. Now, do these guys? How does it? Okay. So I guess these guys don't have a stamina meter. It's they just have HP. Well, fine. He is going to, uh, I guess, respond in kind. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh no. 
So does that take out the, my the stamina or health? The first enemy attack of the entire game <laughs> is just is a, a crit. Right. Wait, what happened? Of course. <laughs> Shell just got stabbled. Oh. Holy crap, yeah, she did. Okay, so Shell, you take... Um, huh, look at that, those rolls. Now, is this stamina damage or the, HP? This is stamina damage. You take um 78 damage as this guy Oof. lays into you. Dang. Okay. Oh, man. Let's see. He seems to have swords for hands. What's the stamina system then again? Okay, so you have two health bars. Stamina is your primary health bar. That's where you take the majority of your damage. It comes back immediately. Um, after, well, not immediately, but, you know, when you take uh, a short rest. And then when you've taken too much stamina damage, then you start taking HP damage. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Halo. <laughs> Flurf, you are protecting your crate, but your, your new friend just got mega stabbed. What do you do? Uh, is it my turn to actually do something? Yes, or is it, it is. Is it, is it not the lizard man's turn? It, nope. Oh, lizard man's at the back. Um, oh, it is. Oh, he just oh. showed up at yeah. the bottom. Sorry. Okay. Drez, it's your turn. You just heard Alaren get stabbed. Ah! <laughs> 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 It might be my whole turn, because <laughs> I had to stand up and walk across. <laughs> I think. Th oh, wait, no, isn't standing up half a move action? Although that was also 5e. How, what is standing up from prone in Pathfinder? Pathfinder prone. I'm. Let's learn things. Now, did you make sure that he had um, disadvantage on that roll? Is that why he oh, rolled twice? Oh, you're right. Well, he, su he succeeded at the second one, so I should probably check for the second roll. Okay, so he missed with the second one. Real bad, actually. His, his sword turns off. Oh. <laughs> so I guess you only take 52 damage. Still hurts, though. Okay, In, the, in this uh, standing up, in Pathfinder, standing up is a move equivalent action. So just moving across the room is my whole turn, I think. Yeah, the doors were open if you wanted to cast something through it instead. Like if I just stood up here and huh. threaded the needle. Yeah, yeah. man. I, I'm i starting to remember why 3.5 was 3.5. And do I have to make a concentration <laughs> check or constitution to see if I kept up the um, concentration? Um, oh, <laughs> on I bite? Yeah. Yeah. Is that good enough to keep it? No. Okay, so he's close. no longer sick. Yeah. Oh, cure wounds is not a uh, not a Pathfinder it? spell. Uh, Shell, you really need to convert over to um, Pathfinder because concentration is not a mechanic in this one. Oh. Yeah. What am I supposed to use? Uh oh, jeez. Is there no concentration in Pathfinder? There's no concentration. No, concentration is really. only a fifth we, edition thing. Yeah, we really oh, need we're to gonna learn things. Yeah, we really yep. need you guys to switch over entirely because there's no such thing as advantage or disadvantage either. Instead, uh, yeah, so you do actually take full damage. I, I'm reading the spell description now. Uh, Sickened is the character takes a minus two penalty on all attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, saving throw rolls. Okay, so I do have to reduce the damage by. Uh, or you take 66 damage instead. Hurts. But he's oh still boy. sickened for a while. Wait, concentration is a thing in Pathfinder, but not for eye bite at the very least. So. I have an idea. He's stuck with... He's sick for the next 12 rounds, so the next two minutes, but... Jesus. I have a fun idea, because the rules have changed off screen, and Drez does not know that. So I've copied over an entire tier of spells into an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm going to roll a, let's see, roll 1D104. <laughs> but what was, what spell 35? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's not a, that's not a happy sounding spell at all. Uh, give me a second. Um... <laughs> Well, we, I have, we have mysteriously changing spell lists between the two campaigns, and I'm, yeah. I'm just going to It's going to be transitionary for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I cast Fungal Infestation on Sharkman. 
Okay. Aww. What level is it? Uh, it's a level three spell. Okay, I'm just gonna re. Okay. We're gonna see if I can find find it. Otherwise, we'll have to convert. Okay, fungal infestation pathfinder found it. Oh wait, I have to roll again. Okay. That's a, that sounds fun and everything, but that's a touch spell. Oh so yeah. That's not applicable. I like this idea. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this one turns out. Uh, oops. Oh my god, this, it's like being my sorcerer again. Uh, that's not terrible. Oh, and, interesting. Okay, yeah. 100, foot, 100 foot range. Okay, we're good. Uh, shadow Mind. You dim your target's perception of light and shadow, convincing them that... The space they occupy is dark. Each creature that fails its, sa uh, its save perceives the world around it, it as one li light level darker than its true illumination level. Okay. Not... Uh, <laughs> this is a really uh... low impact spell. <laughs> Jeez, dude. That's a level three All spell. that works for just, nothing. Do you just want a suggestion? I just, I like the idea that they don't know that their spells have changed. True, so you're just and casting... So at the very least, for a surprise turn, <laughs> that we have character knowledge to even indicate the bizarre, however okay. you can interpret in the universe a rule Wait, change. How many of creatures? The One cr oh, 12. Okay, so there are more people in the back that you can see. They just haven't rushed in yet. Are you <laughs> just hitting all, gonna, all of them? Yeah, they're all going to be spooked about how it's dark. Okay, it just got dark <laughs> for everybody. They, what a weird I'm, spell. I'm just gonna give them a stack in minus two because it's dark. If they're shooting in range. And, if they're in melee, they're probably clear. And Drez thought he was casting uh, Mass Cure Wounds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> instead, he made the room darker <laughs> for a bunch of people. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Uh, Flurf, it's your turn. Your friend just got stabbed. And then ah. uh, shit, weird shit's happening. <laughs> um... Does my character know that this, uh, that the, the, the enemy captain is, um... Your character understands violence. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> does, he, does he know that he's robotic? Uh, yes, you, your character is a cyborg. <laughs> okay. Oh, is he? So yeah. then I Did will use my uh, ability to take control of his mind. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna need to. I guess he actually needs to make a save on this one. Uh, I don't need to roll like a computers or something. Nope. Okay. It's a d. Uh, if you scroll down to the the, uh, it's called like overload or something. Um, it's a DC twenty based on your level. Override. Your okay. Yeah. Override. There we go. Um, I think there might be extended rules for hacking things, but this is a will save on his end. And he, oh, Whoa. okay. So he rolled oh, so wow. low. You have complete control over him for ever. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Ah, uh, it's so you get to use him like a puppet. Yeah, it's like he's supposed. Ah, uh, let me let me look this up because. Okay. But effectively, so, you have a character, uh, well, you have assumed direct control over this guy <laughs> for some amount of time, and it might be a while. Okay. I shall use them to collect more fish! <laughs> <laughs> what? Not yeah, to, that was not the time. Not, not to release your ship? Not to order it back his... Uh, I, I was I was joking. I actually don't know how. Like, did I use up my whole turn with that takeover? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That takeover so. takes up your entire turn. All right, I'm gonna give him to you for two turns. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to be one turn, and then it doesn't say what happens after that. So I assume you probably just have to override him again. Yeah. Okay. If the target fails at saving throw by ten or more, it's not dazed, and you can dictate its actions for one round. That these actions can't obviously be self-destructive. Once a creature has attempted a saving throw against this attack, oh, it is immune. Okay, so you get him for two rounds, and then you can't do it again. Okay. Anyway, you get him for two rounds because he rolled so low. Uh, so, uh, I guess we'll skip his next action, and he'll act on yours. Uh, cool. Greg, it's your turn. 
You notice All the right. guy goes kind of slack and is freaking out. God, the future's weird. All right, I'm going <laughs> to hit the person behind him then. Okay, once or twice. Um, I guess I'm going to do it twice just to get used to the mechanics. So it's like okay. a minus four to hit. Yeah. Oh, oh, well. let's just do this, right? Uh, oh, oh, shit. Dress. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh no. How, what? how far does okay. that go? Okay. Uh Oh no, but... the explosions. Okay. Oh wow, he actually crit. Of course he did. Uh I don't know what I just right. called it. What's, what's the works. nine die six plus sixty? That's the critical that's what it's supposed to I don't know. I'm trying to make it like so instead of doing uh three Oh six, it's plus triple nine damage. Six. Yeah. So that's what it should do instead. I can roll what? that for you real quick. Okay. All right. So that's how much damage I I do. Oh, God, okay. that's a lot of damage. Uh, let me look at his. All right. What about so the? So uh... he vaporizes, and huh? you rolled your. Okay. Uh, I have not done the one d one hundo yet. Alrighty. So the cool thing is that the three point five round round of wonder has it's slightly different things. It, not really slightly. It's overall like super different. I think. Uh, some of them are similar. 35 yeah. oh, is... Oh, this is roll... a nice one. Well, yeah, this is a good one. All right, uh, roll a D, roll again. another D100. Yeah. All right, you have... Oh, this is stupid. ...summoned. Uh, huh. <laughs> All right, you've summoned an elephant-sized poop demon. <laughs> <laughs> Crushes the field in front of you explosively. <laughs> Everything takes oh some God. amount of damage. I'm not entirely sure. Why is that? <laughs> Did you want a corgi instead? <laughs> no, That's the best icon. doesn't take the poop demon. <laughs> All right. Why? So the other guy is going to attempt to make a reflex save <laughs> to avoid this. The exploding elephant poop demon. Kind of looks right. like a captain. Actually, walk. the other guy combat rolls right out of the way. <laughs> wow. And the uh, the hacks dude takes. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just look up what an elephant does, and and we'll just treat it as one attack for its arrival. <laughs> um, two die eight plus uh, two die six plus ten. How about so? Uh, Ro Robo man takes. Uh, one hell of a drubbing by the existence of this thing now. <laughs> a poop elephant. Yep. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, that was one attack. <laughs> Roll your second one. <laughs> yep. I guess I'm gonna attack the... I don't know. I guess I'll <laughs> attack the captain guy. Hit him with that. Alright, you miss. Okay, thank god. I need okay. something normal to balance that one out. <laughs> 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 All right, my chat has exploded into lofties. Uh, <laughs> Lauren, things got weird. What? I imagine it just looks exactly like that, dude. Do you want to just like head cannon this or like homebrew this? So that instead of elephants, I summon lofties. Sure. <laughs> on the on the like the one percent chance this ever happens again. The biggest, the biggest, rarest fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the head. It kind of looks like a slime from Dragon Quest, honestly. <laughs> kind of. Okay, uh, so this guy's mostly comprised of metal, right? Yep. I'll do uh, heat metal. And I will I suppose I'll drop the concentration because he's okay. already under some kind of influence. He's not moving. I'm going to be Googling so many things today. Yay! Yay! Google foo. Okay. Oh, right, Heat cause... metal. Um. It says oh. 2D damage here. Heat metal does... Huh. Huh? Okay. So it's not concentration anymore. Okay. So how sl how small do you have to, comp to how do you have to compress a lofty in order to blow up a pirate ship? <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> Pretty small. We're done blowing stuff up, dude. <laughs> I mean, they we also, aren't just not that way. Yeah, they. Uh, I, I mean, the mechanics have changed on walls of force. So it actually, 
Um, so Shell, Heat Metal has changed. Okay. So the way it works is it lasts for seven rounds. You can use it on up to one creature per two levels. So at this point, you can do it to six, uh, which you can't see the rest anymore. Um, but so the first round is just uncomfortable, then one die four damage, and then two die four damage for the next three turns, then one die four damage, and then it cools down again. But you can use it on a lot of different people. You can also switch spells if you want. Huh. Weird. I don't really like this new version, but it, it kind of makes more sense. It, I mean, it's like gradual, but it's not that's fun not anymore. Good. Oh well. What stopped being? Oh, heat metal. Yeah, yeah heat metal is not exciting anymore. <laughs> because it takes so long to ramp up. That sounds like a waste. Oh, is it the is it the pirate's turn? Uh, it's Shell's turn, but she's trying to figure out how to what to do. Do they okay. know what magic? Is? Do they even know what magic is? Like, what is what is happening in their world right okay. now? Okay, guys, I don't I'm think... gonna. Yeah. No, they have. We... This is new. So we really can't <laughs> just use the spells as they were. Uh, their balance for a completely different game is the issue. Yeah. Um... So I'm going to switch this over to be on the other ship because it's got a lot more room for this. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, I'm going to get rid of the liches. They don't give a shit. Okay. Deal areas. There you go. Okay, so you guys are uh, here. We haven't changed. Oh, right. You guys are here. There you go. Ah. And there's a bunch of these pirates all over the place on the bridge on the other side of the, uh, the, poop. the elephant. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah. So they were going to let their captain handle it. Then shit got weird. Uh, so, Alaren, what are you doing? You can vaguely see most of them if you want to do heat metal. Or you could do something else. Um, I probably... If heat metal's that bad, I don't know if I want to use it. Do instead. That's the problem. I'm going to start announcing a spell, and then it's not going to do what I thought it was because it's different That's than Pathfinder. That's the fun. That's yep. the fun. Okay. I'm so embracing the madness. We'll just go with it for now. Uh, okay. You've heat metaled um, the first six in the area. It's actually dangerous to these guys. They don't have as much HP. Um, okay. But... So that means the first round they don't take any damage, but the second round they do? Yeah, then they're going to start taking damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then it's their turn. So they all look uncomfortable with their equipment. And then they're gonna open fire. On the elephant? Pretty much. It's. I mean, you guys have full cover behind the thing. Did uh, you guys all see. lose the turn order? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we lost it. It's okay. Me, let me let me delete it and bring it back. Do you see it now? Mm, no. Nope. Not with anyone in Weird. it. Weird. It bl it blankified on this map for some reason. Let me just switch you, switch you back and around. Well, now the there it is. is back. Now yeah, it's, it's gone. Now it's gone again. Um, <laughs> huh. Maybe the turn order is attached to the map. Refresh your pages, maybe? Try that. Um, well, that's stupid. Okay, I'm just going to... No. Did I'm refreshing just gonna... that work? Yeah, it's not... Um... This not is there. a new problem. <laughs> we we remember, don't we? Okay. How about this? We if can I... always just switch back and forth if we get confused, right? Or we could switch over right now, and we all hit print screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we give me a paste second. That into paint, and then we'll, see, we'll have the I, initiative. I'm I'm not going to bother with the numbers, but you guys should be able to see the turn order if I just re-add everything. Oh yeah. yeah. So it was oh, Lauren, yeah. Captain, then Drez. Uh, Drez, Flurf, yeah, Greg. No, I, I can see the whole thing. Yep. I guess I'll move Drez over here for now. Oh, the grid doesn't matter on this. Uh, I'll have to fix that. Ah, mm -hmm. Weird weird technical difficulties associated with uh, trying new systems and things. I think I'm going to make the ships just objects uh, from now on. And that'll just... Um, then I can actually drag them around and move them. And I'll just put them on the map. Okay, then it's Flurf. 
Add turn. And then it's Gerg. There you go. Okay, so now you guys can see. I'm not going to bother with the numbers. Uh, but so the the pirates on the other side of the elephant are just going to open fire. Because uh, they don't... They don't have much to much else they can do. So there are seven of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Huh. Those are a lot of high rolls. Yep. Yeah. It'll be uh. fine. We've never had bad things happen to us. We exclusively have bad things happen <laughs> to us. <laughs> okay, so anything... Your arm's growing back. Okay, so the elephant gets hit six times. Oh. And it makes a little squeak toy sound every time. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it takes 22, 31, 45... 53, that elephant is not dead. 53, 63 damage. Elephants are tough suckers. Uh, Damn. But it's, it has been perforated by machine guns. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, these guys don't know about magic, but they've got some pretty good firepower. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's their turn. Uh, Drez, it's your turn. Not the, the right. captain's turn? Uh, no, the captain The captain will act for the next two of your turns. And oh, then we'll go okay. back to having a turn. Mm -hmm. So Drez is going to try to create a distraction by casting Conjure Woodland Beings right here. Okay. But instead, what's going to happen is... <laughs> <laughs> explosion of rot. <laughs> All right. So even non-living creatures... Okay, creatures in the area take 1 die 6 points of damage per caster level, so 12 die 6, and are staggered, but it needs to make a reflex save. What's the range on it? Like, what's the AoE? It's 10 foot radius. Okay, so pretty much all four of these guys, I'll put them into the... I'll put to, put them into the appropriate... And that's grid. a very... Conf if you're expecting, like, cool dogs to come out of that, that's a pretty horrifying outcome. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. So, what's your what? Do you know what your save DC is? It'd be uh, what's your wisdom? Let's find out. Oh my god, I have so many tabs. Uh, eighteen. Okay. So two of them fail, probably. I'll, I'll figure out kind of save math. Uh, what what level spell is that actually? Because uh, that's level... probably easy. Four. Okay, so DC eighteen. Um, they take so the bottom two. We'll just go with the bottom two. They take a lot of damage. They uh they start melting bad. The other ones <laughs> look pretty worse for the wear though, but they're. They get out of the way. Anyway, uh, so that's that's your turn. Flurf, it's you and your remote-controlled robot, fr temporary robot friend. What do you robot. do? Robot. Um, you know that this guy has uh, two long swords attached to his hands and also a long rifle. Probably not that helpful. He mostly specializes in charging at enemies and wailing on them as hard as possible. Can I use him to uh, try to convince his crew that this is more uh, trouble than it's worth and to retreat? Make a bluff check. Oh, crap. Because you are in full remote control of this guy, so this is, this is on you. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. They're not having it. It's... <laughs> okay, can I do anything else this turn? Yeah. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh. That that was his turn. You well, no, that was your turn. You can still use him, probably. I don't know. Speaking is a free action, which is real confusing. Uh okay. Then um I suppose I'll use him to attack the uh the closest. Uh, the closest of his own kind. Okay. So he's going to move forward and he's going to start chopping.
All right, uh, let's see. What's the AC on the other guy? Oh, not high. Mm -hmm. I suppose I should have picked a, a healthier he target. He dies. What? You minced him. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so what do you do with your turn? You have a gun. Oh, bluffing oh. is not a free action. Okay, so bluffing was your action then. Okay. Sorry, you're right about ah. that. Okay, so you still you still sent Robo Robo friend to do things. Uh, <laughs> I like to imagine as he's going to chop this man up, you're speaking through him, being like, "It's all good. This isn't worth it. Go <laughs> home, guys." <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh no! That's not a great, horrifying. Not a great lie. The actual creepiest thing. <laughs> Greg, uh, it's you and your elephant. Can I get turn. around the elephant? Well, you are in control of your elephant, so. Oh, no, I'm not. I mean, fine. Give me a second. I'll... <laughs> you are in control of your elephant. Yeah! All, All right. right. Uh, well, we're going to get the elephant out of the way first by having it do like a trample attack on okay. these guys. Okay. Uh... I don't know what elephant's attacks are. Stop. You know, it doesn't actually have like a trample attack. It can um it can gore and slam. Alright, well we'll just slam this guy then. Okay. It's weird. Big creatures should have like more of a Yeah. Oh, it does should... have a trample. It just doesn't okay. talk about the trample. Okay, so we're gonna do a trample. A trample. Okay, so they need to make a reflex save to get out of the way. Holy shit, getting out of the way of an elephant is scary. And neither of them succeed. Wow, it's that hard? Yeah, it's DC 25. Woo! Yeah. Uh, so they take some damage. The All elephant right, more or less smushes them against the far wall. Alright, Greg's just gonna casually walk in. Just eyeball uh, one of the pirates. And... Uh... He's not going to do a double attack. He's going he's gonna to keep things uh, a little bit more under wraps this time. Just do a regular attack. Oh, right. Oh, oh no. 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 God damn it. It never, <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> All right, 24. Yes. Um, what? what? Oh. oh, this oh. one's weird. Okay. You are Whoa. struck by confusion and fear as... A pachyderm. I stare into my own psyche. Yeah, you are staring at yourself. Uh, in fact, for a roll... Okay, you have to... You are no longer seeing through your own eyes. You're seeing through this man's eyes. And <laughs> for the next two rounds. And you yep. know all of his thoughts, all of his feelings. Uh, you kind of have a general feeling of fear and confusion as a pachyderm has run through and mowed down his friends. He's started partially melting and a man exploded <laughs> into his brain. <laughs> Alaren, it's your turn. Oh my. I have several additional questions. <laughs> 3.5 Rod of Wonder is amazing. <laughs> oh my it's God. so much more broken and weird. It's for those way of you less useful. For those of you tuning in to, uh, to this series for the first time. Greg has discovered empathy and he doesn't like it one bit. <laughs> His axe, whenever he crits, nat 1, nat 20, he gets a Rod of Wonder effect. It happens often. More often than normal rolls. Okay. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't no know one, how. No one knows it's seriously how. like 25% of my attacks are either crit fail or crit hit. I don't know. It's like the numbers just, they just aren't. They're not normal for me. I don't know, okay. man. It's like they're aware. Anyway, Alaren, yeah. shit's getting weird in the bridge of this pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, so uh, oh, the heat yeah. metal is influencing Yeah, yeah. so on guys. their turns, they're all going to take a die four damage. Oh, okay. That's nice. And they don't have concentration anymore, so I can just keep flinging spells yep. around. ba doo ba -doo. All right. What do I want to do? Well... You should really plan these beforehand, especially because sorry, your spell I'm just I'm wacky. listening to I'm listening to everyone else, and I'm just like, wow, that's cool. I mean, you could always just attack <laughs> with your sword. That's, that's what like my many easy, yeah, that's what my many I'll, rolls are. I'll do the ranged attack with my sword because okay. apparently you had given it ranged attacks. Okay. And do I just do the same yep. rolls? Yep, same roll. Okay. All right. Uh, which one are you attacking? 
I'm attacking, uh, how far is the range? Because I was attacking the one that was near the... It's 30 feet. Okay, I was wanting to attack this guy. Which is this guy? Um, Bottom one? This okay. one? Is that all yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, you stab him. Well, uh, it's more like I'm slashing a, it, your a sword blade kind, of light. Your, like, yeah, your sword kind of just extends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's like a hole puncher for people. Yeah. Uh, uh, it just leaves uh, actual uh, holes in them. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, their turns. Okay, they're having bad days. Shall we roll a die for? Oh, okay. Um, so they only take one point of damage? Yeah. I'm gonna... Ugh. Well, I mean, it was a 25% chance. Mm-hmm. Greg, you feel burning. Oh. Anyway, uh, let's see. So they are going to open fire again. Uh, the three, well, no. The two near the elephant are going to try and attack it. Um... I'm continuously continuously jealous of your guys' uh freaking um character sheets where you can just press buttons to attack. Yep, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so the two guys near the elephants are gonna pull out their swords and try and swing at them. Or swing at swing at it. It uh the elephant goes down. Actually, does it? Yes, the elephant goes down. Yeah. And the one Alarin stabbed is going to try and shoot shoot okay. back. Misses. Mm -hmm. Greg, you are under the weird circumstance of trying to stab yourself. It feels real weird. You miss. Mm -hmm. um, oh, good. <laughs> and then your friends are going to help shoot you. Uh, what's your armor class again? Uh, well, I have two, right? Yes. Uh, no, you have... <laughs> oh, no, no. I... Wait, huh? You have one. I have my EAC and my KAC. Yeah, so you don't have an energy armor class. You're just wearing basic metal, so sure. it really doesn't okay. provide much protection against uh, energy weapons. There gotcha. isn't a default armor class? Uh, so it's whatever your dexterity is. Luckily, these guys are just using machine guns, so yep. it's So kinetic. the KAC for the Gorlar armor is uh, 27 in total, I think. What? Yeah. Uh, twenty-seven. The Goral armor. That's, that's what I have. Give me look me. at this thing. The Goral um, armor. It's uh like plus two full plate mail. So I don't know what that turns into in Starfinder. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just going to go back and... probably shouldn't be so, that good. Yeah, but... no, your armor class did not change between campaigns. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the case that it's 22. Yeah, because uh, you're probably... No, I have no idea how, how it would work, but yeah. That should be 22? Okay. Yep. So you get hit once. With a bullet. Huh. Yeah. You don't really feel it, though. You just kind of see the guy in front of you that you know is you get shot. <laughs> and this is the oh. weirdest fight. <laughs> it yeah. is a weird fight. This is a weird <laughs> so much set and of I've, episodes. And, I've, and I've, 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 I've randomized the next spell, and I know it's just going to get weirder. All right, Drez, How? get weirder. Is oh, it my turn? God, no. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. So Drez surprisingly got closer to what he was going for this time. So... Drez pointed at the enemy. Well, I should move for, forward first. Drez points forward at the enemies again over like here or whatever. And he tries to cast Insect Plague. Okay. But instead, he <laughs> he conjures. <laughs> oh. uh, he, uh, I can't tell what that is. A swarm? Oh, I didn't. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot, a swarm. Swarm? I, I forgot I to copy. It. I forgot to copy the actual. Uh, Ew. So this is Ew. the actual spell. He summoned a whip of centipedes, which is confusing, and he doesn't know. And he and in his recoil, shock 
a, a whip of centipedes conjuring in his hand, he throws it at his intended target instead, which then turns into a centipede swarm. Okay. <laughs> By the way, can we only see through these two doors in front of us, or is the whole like? Yeah, I'll send, I'll send you open. a helpful link. Yeah, so the... Drez is here chucking centipedes around the corner. Yeah, I'll send you a helpful link, but there is now a swarm of centipedes because I accidentally summoned a whip of them, which is a horrifying thing if someone thought of as a whip of centipedes. <laughs> which I found. Uh, I, which, well, what are they like, with... holding onto each other with their mouths? How, how big is the swarm? Which, by the way, because it's mentioned, because it's mentioned in the page, I know that the whip of centipedes is the upgraded version of the whip of spiders. <laughs> so this is a whip Christ. of spiders. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what the okay. Fuck? What so, the fuck? Three point five. Roll, roll this. Thi- how does this thing even attack? This is too much for me to just <laughs> it, parse. It is a. It is a bit much. Uh, its attack is a bite. Wow, I lost it. This page is so weirdly formatted. It was like a yeah, two d six plus poison. Is a bite. It's a bite attack. How does hit do? Uh, okay, let's just do whip I of forgot, centipedes. I forgot, I forgot how to roll attack. <laughs> yes, some this spell functions as whip of spiders, except it summons centipedes. <laughs> what a description! <laughs> I right. don't know what's worse. Everything or the other parts. <laughs> okay, centipede it's the swarm. Worst description. <laughs> oh right. Swarms, I mean, I think it's fine. Swarms are slightly different. Okay, which by so, the way, I'm just working up one spell level every time I cast. So, so dress the centipede swarm is is denoted by the purple worm that I put down. You can control yeah. it. This thing doesn't make attacks. You just put it on a tile and they take damage. So it's Nyeh. it's very small. Okay, so it's going for that guy. Gross. So roll two die six, and he's going to make uh, a fortitude save. What was the fortitude? Save? He's doing a fortitude save. Yeah. Okay. So he gets um, poisoned, and he, gets poisoned. he is okay. slower, which really doesn't. Uh-huh. Oh, because he had to make a thirteen of save. So yeah. once per round. So he has lost four dexterity. Ooh, his accuracy just. All right. Dumped. It, it takes away his dexterity. That's fun. Okay, I'm going to move the centipede swarm off for a second. Oh, uh, how much damage is that? Eight? You kill him. Oh, yeah, that really just, takes his dexterity. <laughs> they just start devouring him. Ah. That's, that's really bad for your dexterity. Dying. Flurf, your new <laughs> yeah. friends are scary. What do you do? <laughs> your, I think your new friends are currently scaring themselves. <laughs> um, so I'm still in control of the captain. Oh, yeah, you still have robo-captain. Um, is it gonna cost me a, a a move or turn to like check out the the captain's seat and console of the ship? Uh, who as the captain or yeah, as the as captain? You? Uh, I yes. like that he's just like trying to commandeer the ship. Wait, wait, as, as as me, it won't. No, 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 no. So you have two separate characters with two per- two separate action sets. What are you trying to do? Um, I was just trying to figure out what I can do. To be honest, you, but... you've got a robot brain ish with a ship to help you so you pretty much can remote control yourself and this guy freely so what are you doing um i think i'll use the captain to attack the other guy in the back okay and uh i'll use myself um Uh, Elarin is still pretty hurt, right? I can uh, use... I, it was just SP as opposed to HP. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so so she looks winded. Oh, okay. She blocked the blow, but she didn't take damage. Okay, then I'll use myself to uh, try to gain remote control of the computer. Uh, I mean, of the other enemy ship. Okay, what are you trying to do? That's uh, that's a computer's check, by the way. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, well, I... <laughs> I I didn't really think this far. I was just hoping I like I could just see what I could do with the ship. Okay. Like, so you know, find you, you a have to make a computer sequence, well, or you still uh... have to make a computer's check to get through the the basic defenses. Okay. Okay. You have complete control over the ship. Wow. What do you want to do? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, there, is it gonna... You have a lot of options. 
Yeah, well, is it is it going to cost me a turn to list all the options, or do I just no, have to no. try something? No, So, you've already used your action, more or less, to hack this computer. Your next turn, oh. you can do shit with it. Yeah. Okay. You, you can hack stupidly fast. NCIS fast. But... <laughs> um, anyway, so... You have, there's automated def defenses, there's external defenses, there's oxygen control, gravity control, uh, the whole ship power. Uh, there Ooh. is a self-destruct sequence, um, but uh, you also find the ship manifest, which has a fair bit of fish in it. And it feels like a, a, a personal crime to blow that all up. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Probably some of it your fish. Yes. No way. Okay. So Durf don't, or Flurf? Don't worry about it. Uh, Durf, that's oh, your turn. Yeah. So if that if that's my turn, then I, I'll I'll BRB. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, Craig. this is probably gonna be the last round that I'm gonna mm -hmm. have to head out. Uh, let's finish combat. It's like two rounds. For One sure? round, maybe. Yeah, okay. probably. Let's finish this off. Alrighty, sounds good. Because I mean, you got the other. I can't everybody even do anything this turn anyway. Dead. No, you can. Is... Huh? You, no, you are still in uh... control of your body. You're just looking at yourself in third person uh oh yeah you're right i uh i am still in control by being okay um i am going to try and attack myself okay roll the hit <laughs> once or twice um i feel like i'm already taking a penalty for this i don't really know no just, i guess not it's just deeper thoughts so yeah yeah I just do two attacks okay that's a minus four, so I guess that one misses. That should do it. Okay. Greg, you have killed yourself. <laughs> yep. Yes, I have. <laughs> you fall what to the it, deck. You are unconscious. Like? Good He's night, good. bird. He's good at killing. We'll catch you Wait. up on what happens next. Oh, you are, come on. <laughs> you are me out cold. this way. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dead, but you have just died. And it's a very <laughs> weird experience. Rock a bye bird. That's why I said keep going because it doesn't. You're fine. Wait, was it Greg's Fair body point. moving to kill the pirate? Yeah. So yeah, Greg more or less transposed his mind on top of the other guys, kind of. And so when he yep. stabbed himself, he experienced death. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so the wow. other pirate's dead. Yes. Yeah, this oh, guy's yeah. dead. He's very dead. <laughs> I detected the thoughts of somebody dying as I killed him. Holy oh, no. shit, that's metal. Oh no. <laughs> that is metal. All right. Alara. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Craig is unconscious but unarmed. Uh, unconscious but unharmed, huh? Oh yeah. Also the pirate captain is turning towards you. Oh no. He is no longer mind controlled. I see that. Oh. I'm gonna cone of cold him. Okay, cone of cold does a lot, lot different things. I think in uh, Pathfinder. Oh really? Okay, so he has to make a. Oh no. Let's see, cone of cold <laughs> does one die ten points of cold damage per caster level. I don't know what it used to do, or it did in five e. Per caster level, that's interesting. Alright. And he saves. So roll uh twelve die ten. Okay. Okay. Still takes thirty five damage though. He's not looking good. And he oh. is I suppose all the guys with heat metal are no longer affected, or uh, are there some No, that are? they are, but that's on their turn. Okay. So, roll two die four. Okay. So, two. Oh, God. How did you find that? What is that, Keith? What? what? That is not oh, a... Oh, the image I sent you? Yeah, that is unnerving. So, what's so this? What did you send us? It, it, before on. I got to centip uh, Whip of Centipedes, I randomized onto... Uh, become fey 2 and it lets you become a large fey and that's the first large fey i found in pathfinder 
Well, this, it's fitting considering this horrible creature, but I decided to move on because it would look too. I couldn't figure out how there was too much character to go through to figure out how to play as it. So I was okay. like, I'm going to randomize one more time. I'm putting got, it in chat the, so everybody can see this thing. That's how I got to whip of centipedes because I randomized it away, away from that because I it was it was too much character sheet to read through. Yep, what the that's hell is this cool looking legitimately thing? Legitimately horrifying. Okay. <laughs> I think so, it's called an and. What do those two rolls do? A and K O U. Um, the two die four. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's heat metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're All you're right, plinking I'm away at the. the I dudes. almost became an anko, but I didn't want to spend thirty minutes reading about how to play as it. Ooh, yes. So I went. Yeah, so I randomized up. one more time and got to whip of Good centipedes. Night, which Everyone is, is watching horrible. this pop over to Wander Stream for the next 10, 15 minutes or so. Probably less. Bad I'm ending it as soon as combat is done. Anywho. Yep. Alaren, you are going to get stabbled again. Oh no. One, two. Oh. Well, he hits you once. Goodbye, bud. Okay, you take another 15 damage. Okay, now it goes to <laughs> When you SP. die in the game, you die for real. What? Because <laughs> he's because the bird's gone. Oh, <laughs> when you die. Kinda. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. So that's oh yeah, and the other guys are going to Oh, jeez. Who'd they open fire on? It's kind of... One for each of you. How about that? That's that's an easy easy solution. Alright, so, Lauren, miss. Drez, hit. Flurf, raw miss, if I remember right. I think I currently have more than the max health. Yeah, well, what's your, what's your kinetic armor class? KAC? Uh, 26? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Bullet bullet just goes straight past you, and Drez, you take 7 damage. You have been shot. Ow. It's new. It's also your turn. What do you do, Horror Mancer? Uh, funny story, that. It appears oh, no. Drez may have developed a bit of a fixation. So he's been ramping things up, and he went for Wall of Thorns, a 6-level spell. But instead, what came out was something shockingly similar, which is suddenly he's holding a whip of ants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's just what he landed on. <laughs> so right. once again, he's going to recoil and throw it. <laughs> and that guy's going to be covered in an ant swarm. He should just be like the. Oh yeah, you <laughs> also have, you dream. still have your cent uh, centipedes too. Yeah. <laughs> so. One of them's covered in centipedes. Jesus the one's Christ, you are living ants. up. You, I. <laughs> the blight might have to, is on. We might have to pare down your your spell list to only horror spells at this point. Okay, it's pretty fucked up. So, uh, okay. What's great about swarms is they're immune to weapons. <laughs> yeah, you have to hit them with AOEs. Yeah. So there's an ant swarm on that guy now. Uh, I think the ant swarm. Oh wait, no. Roll three three die six hang, for ant swarm on. damage. Was that guy, was that guy still nauseous? Uh no. The Bro. captain. <laughs> no, that is worn off. No, oh, he was sickened. Never mind. Yeah, that's different. Because I was like consumed to sixty six. <laughs> uh, oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, the, the an army of ants, <laughs> an army ant swarm can rapidly consume any creature it swarms over against helpless and nauseated targets. It does sixty six. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> really, well, I think the poison these is are if, really fucked up spells. If if the guy gets poisoned by the attack, I think they get nauseated. Oh, you might be right. You might be right. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, its attack is. It's yeah, three d six. So that's that's for the ant swarm attack. Uh, God, this is a weird day. And uh, for the guy in the centipedes, he takes he takes two d six. I okay. Uh, let's see. So the three d six guy takes. Yep, these guys are man. These poor <laughs> pirates. <laughs> okay. What did he die? No. Oh. But... Uh, do a, a DC for poison on the centipede guy. Let's see. One die twenty plus. He has six. to be at thirteen. Okay, he does not succeed. He is poisoned. Yeah. All right. 
and the poison damage was and oh right it's one d4 ant guy also i think fails because the dc is higher on the so that's swarm one d4 so that guy so he loses two dexterity the, the does, is... did the ant did the ant, did the ant, did the ant one have a uh, poison it says it has poison but it doesn't have a dc and it i'm looking at the army ant swarm and it doesn't even have uh like a damage the the pathfinder srd is kind of worthless sometimes let's try non army okay. ant swarm oh here we go um cling and consume cling i don't think the ant swarm has poison i think it just is i think it just gloms onto you but if you try yeah. to escape you get uh if you try to escape you do you get affected by cling which is that you take 3d6 okay if it, oh yeah oh. oh no you you activate cling i don't i'm very confused and the regular ones have have a sting let's just let's just not look at army ants for a little while and we'll figure it out next time you you're doing damage and this guy is dying how about that <laughs> Flurf, it, it, he is dying. Flurf, yeah. what are you doing? Uh, just a quick question: Is it going to cost me like a turn to um, check how many enemies are aboard this ship through the computer? Yeah. Uh, no. You more or less kind of instantly know that there are approximately, I want to say, wouldn't there be thirty more if the guy said that? There oh, were... he was lying through his teeth. Oh, There's about lying. ten more pirates. Um, somewhere, a couple are sleeping. Uh, one or two seem to be in the engine room and, like, uh, cut handful or downstairs. Hmm. You have control of the systems. The thing is, we haven't really evacuated their ship, so not a whole lot I can do while we're in it. Um, can I get, uh, the, um, internal defenses to attack the the, the pirates yep <laughs> all right all right you hear that's... gunfire in the distance oh i don't even have to do a, a check nope you already did the check you were in complete control he was in complete control yeah you yeah. So nice. direct control yeah nobody nobody's trying to counter you so you just have the defenses right now nice yep so there is gunfire it sounds bad um Anyway, so that's that's your turn, getting that set up. By Greg the way, is this, out this is potentially relevant in the future. I do actually have a anti-space bubble. Oh, cool. Hmm. I have uh, a bubble that lets you survive in a vacuum or underwater. Well then. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very specific. I have to learn it and stuff, but Dress <laughs> will eventually realize he has that. Yep. Lauren, what do you do? Okay, what do I do? Well, how's Greg doing? Is he Greg is Greg is out cold but unharmed. You okay. are being stabbed. I know. There's this guy right in front of me. Um, can I actually polymorph him? Uh, you can try. All right. Casting a spell in melee provokes an attack of opportunity, by the oh, way. Oh, because he's so close. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think that's how th how this works. I mean, otherwise I'd have to have, like, battle magic or something, right? Yeah. So, maybe I should just attack with my sword? Uh, if you want to. Let's see, attack of opportunity and spell casting. Okay, yep. So, you yeah. can... I'll attack with that, then. My void saber, zoom. Okay, so yep, you stab him. He is looking near death. And he is going to respond in kind. Uh, can I? There we go. One miss and miss. He is not having a good day. Uh, the other guys are probably going to... Honestly, um, I think the... So none of the... There's no defense systems in here that are firing on them? Uh, 
Uh, Durf said rest of the ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. I or he was he focused the on the rest of the ship. He didn't talk about the defenses in the, uh, in the room you were in. Anyway, um, so I guess the guy with the centipedes is going to focus on them. You guys must be tired. Oh, how much damage have they sustained because of the heat metal now? Oh, uh, yeah, roll damage for that. Is it now? It, I did roll to die two, or not die two. Wasn't it only like a one roll and then a four roll, or do I just do another four? Uh, two die four. Okay. Again. How do they? Ooh. Can they just not get rid of them? So that's a seven for each. Okay. They are. Ooh. Okay. That, yeah, these guys are looking pretty toasty. Um, see, I guess ant guy is going to try and run from the ants. That is a reasonable response. Yeah. <laughs> Roll cling. <laughs> cling. Oh. Ah, what? I can choose between. I can wait. I can choose to do things as Dres Black Claw or Dres Black Claw. I accidentally <laughs> clicked on the thing. Weird. Okay. I guess he gets to make a reflex save. He s does succeed, but he does take damage. So he takes These 11 and dies. people did not know what could happen today. So he starts, like, shaking the ants off, and he manages to get free of the grasp just as they bite him to death. <laughs> the other guy, the, the healthiest little, one, he died is with the last little probably going to run past. He is just running. He, gi he gives no shits. And centipede guy is oh, valiantly uh, yeah and the southern yeah sorry the the centipede guy is going to valiantly try and shoot dress he misses I, I totally was like why does that guy have a weird health bar <laughs> no yeah no i just uh i just took the ftl door doors and i'm going to be using them for the campaign constantly all right uh dress you just got shot at again it's your turn what do you do you should stop doing that. Then we find out the hard way what things do, which is when I try to cast another six level spell, but instead we get a tar pool. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, how big is this? Uh it's a 20 foot radius. Okay. Uh oh, where? Where did you throw it? Uh where are you aiming this dress? Let's see. Does shift work? It does work. Cool. Dude. <laughs> okay. You I can't tell if it's twenty feet the, or not. Uh, You're not gonna get the pirate leader too. The pirate leader is in there. I could. Let's see. <laughs> All right. I hate this room in particular. So roll damage. <laughs> Goddamn blind firing! Like I don't even know where it's gonna go. Roll ten ten die six. Uh, six d six. Uh, oh, it's per two, two caster one levels. D6 okay. Per yep. two caster levels. Roll six die six. All right, they both die. <laughs> they both just die. And all that area is just... Yeah, bad. and that area is just kind of bubbling. <laughs> oh, you boy. It's been a monsters. What a day. Good <laughs> God. Well. Wow. I, uh... You know, I thought I thought maybe maybe the start of this campaign would be Drez embracing. You know, maybe I shouldn't be such like a horror mancer. No, no. <laughs> well, they made the mistake <laughs> of attacking me before I figure out how spells work in this universe. Fair enough. And they get whatever comes out, which is so, tarred and feathered, apparently. Well, that takes care of the two uh, swarm problems. <laughs> yep. That's an oh, AoE, so I believe. So it does. Um, is that it? Are they all, uh, do, do I get the yeah, fishy prize? They're all dead. Uh, you, I... What about everywhere else in yeah, the ship? Yeah, you don't know what's going, well, no, actually, you know what's going on in the rest of the ship, which is the pirates having a shootout against their own automated defenses, and it's not going well for them. What's um, horrifying However, about... actually, no, you don't know this anymore. The ship's computer just melted. Oh. oh yeah yeah because of the console somebody just tarred tarred and melted everything listen, in a listen. massive radius and the computer's right not, in there so you've not lost the worst it's not the worst thing i've destroyed on accident 
Okay, let's... What's really uh. horrible about the Pool of Tar, by the way, is that if you, uh, if you end up in it, you have to do an, uh, like an escape artist check to escape it, and or if you you'll can't, just you keep, keep being stuck damage. in it while it keeps hurting you. That's, it's messy. It's probably not strong enough to drag Greg. The 5e spells were really clean. It was like, hey, I hit you with a lightning bolt. And this one's like, I cause you horrible agony as I scar you and swallow you. <laughs> yep. And, and maybe turn into a Satan bat, as you saw earlier <laughs> <laughs> in that picture. <laughs> yep. Druids are fucked up in Pathfinder. <laughs> uh, yeah. At least they nerfed your wild shape. They, they imagine <laughs> fucked up superpowered spells comboed with uh, comboed with turning into a mega raptor and melting Did people with claws. Did they nerf my wild shape? Yeah, it only gives you a stat bonus now as you turn into uh, the thing. Whereas but I like do suddenly have five per day instead of two. Yeah, we're not getting through those doors either. I mean, um, you can cut your way through. <laughs> well, I mean, the tar they're kind of tarred shut. It's only going to last one round per level, so twelve times the six seconds two minutes yeah it's it's not that bad Trez, can you help me drag greg out of here <laughs> so, yeah let's drag greg away from the, the pool of tar yeah we don't want that seeping over what, <laughs> once again greg is staring blankly into space with like his jaw slack and drool and kind of glassy eyes <laughs> is is he even there <laughs> he seems to be mostly there, probably. That, that's about the normal level of intelligence we get from Greg. All right, well, let's get him back to the other Wait, ship. Wait, he's trying to echolocate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys drag him back to the ship. Oh, is... Bird's still here. I thought you were talking as him. No, no, yeah. Bird has to be quiet because of quiet hours. <laughs> so he's just hanging out. What I a totally trooper. thought you were talking as Bird's character. All right. I, I can't drag nope. him out of the tar. Oh, he has to do yeah. it. <laughs> oh. You get him back onto the ship and drape him over a fish box. Now we have two ships. Now we don't need this fuzzball. Well, that is insane. No, this this ship is ship practically is non-functional unless you can replace an entire ship's computer. Mm -hmm. I'll just cast reverse tar pit. That's the spell I have. <laughs> no are amount you, of mending gonna, is going to fix are you gonna total look destruction. Through the Five hundred spells to check. <laughs> <laughs> And so the party destroys, well, any, any amount of pirate resistance in one fell swoop, leaving themselves still caught in the clutches of the pirate vessel. How will they escape? Will they find anything interesting on the rest of the ship? Or is it just a dead hulk with some automated defenses that now want to shoot them as well as anything else aboard? I guess you'll have to find out next time on the next episode of Shattered Planets.